In this tutorial module, we'll cover how to leverage JumpCloud's Active Directory Migration Utility, or better known as the ADMU, to migrate your Active Directory-bound workstations and users to local workgroups and local users without having to migrate any profile information. The following steps are outlined in JumpCloud's public GitHub wiki, with the links provided. The ADMU is run on a Windows system which is bound to a domain controller. During this demo migration, the JumpCloud agent will be automatically installed using your connect key and the system added to your JumpCloud organization. Afterwards, the AD profile is converted to a local account. Finally, the system will leave the Active Directory domain and reboot. After reboot, the local profile will display on the login window. There are several prerequisites in order to ensure the ADMU will execute appropriately. Please refer to the ADMU guidelines within the JumpCloud's GitHub for more details. The ADMU can run as a graphical user interface or as a PowerShell command line interface. In this module, we'll cover the graphical user interface. In our example, I have a Windows 10 21H1 VM running with a single user, Bob Fay, who is an Active Directory user bound to this Windows machine. We will run the ADMU GUI tool to detach both his system and convert his profile to local. In order to migrate Bob's account, we need to sign into a local administrator and completely sign out of Bob's account. Once logged into the system as a local administrator, I will run the ADMU tool as admin and bring up the ADMU GUI window. Once the ADMU is loaded, we'll need to configure a few fields before executing the tool. First, copy your connect key from your admin portal for adding systems into the connect key field in the ADMU. Next, ensure that all of the settings are checked. Install JumpCloud Agent. Convert profile. This is the default behavior. Leave domain. Force reboot. This is entirely optional, but in our case, I will select it. Once the appropriate checkboxes have been added, you should see a list of all the user accounts that are listed on the system. In my example, we see that there's both a super admin account as well as Bob Fay's Active Directory account. I'll go ahead and select Bob Fay's AD account from the list. In our example, I'm going to ensure that his JumpCloud username is Bob Fay and the temporary password will be testpass123, bang. This is a password that meets the complexity requirements of my domain controller and the local group policy on the system. Once everything appears to be configured correctly, click the Migrate Profile button in the bottom right. This will begin migration of Bob Fay's domain account with our configured settings. The ADMU finalizes account setup during the first login. We can now see that his desktop still has the folders and files from the domain profile. Once the system has come back in line, you can then bind the employee's JumpCloud user account to the newly added system to take over the pre-existing profile. Ensure that the JumpCloud username matches the username you set within the ADMU migration. Giving this about 60 seconds, we should now be able to log in with Bob's JumpCloud password. The system and account are now entirely managed by JumpCloud without any Active Directory binding.
For more information, check out JumpCloud's related knowledge base articles and GitHub for more details.